Hey everyone, I'm back to do another book review for you guys, and it's only been a few days since I've done a book review, so yeah, you can probably tell that I love this book because I read it so fast. I've actually been reading books a lot faster lately, like I've read three books in less than, like in a little bit over a week, that's just crazy for me. But yeah, I, I'm happy about that, so that's awesome. But anyway, today's review is going to be on Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. And if you couldn't tell by the cover, this is a contemporary YA romance novel. And it's one of the good ones. No, scratch that. It's one of the amazing ones. Because I absolutely loved, loved, loved this book. In more ways than one, actually. Not just because of the romance, but also because it has a lot of underlining themes to it that make it an emotionally powerful romance novel. But let's get into the plot, shall we? Okay, so basically it's about this girl named Anna, and she lives in Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, she lives with her family, her mom and dad, and her little brother. Her dad is a writer. Uh, he writes romance novels that end tragically uh, with a girl that might get cancer or something or, or some horrible disease, and it always has a sad ending. And Anna hates her father's books so much. And Anna and her parents aren't really on good terms with each other. Like, they're, they, they, I mean, they love each other, but, but they're just not, like, the perfect family, I will say that. So, yeah, her dad sends her off to Paris, uh, to an American boarding school in Paris, France, and she doesn't want to go. And she doesn't want to go because she has a life back in Georgia. Uh, she has a lot of friends uh, she's leaving behind and also a would-be boyfriend. And it's really hard for her because she wants to stay, but she's forced to go by her father. So she gets into Paris and she learns about the culture and she meets new friends and she's learning French and all this other, you know, cultural stuff. And then she meets a boy if you couldn't tell by the cover. And instead of it being a cliche romance novel where it's like the girl falls in love with the guy on the first, like the first five chapters of the book, it's not like that. Twilight. I didn't say anything. It's more like Simone Elkles is writing. Um, like the way it's written, I totally agree with Claudia, what she said in her review. It is so much like Simone Elkles' Perfect Chemistry and her books because it's a real, raw, emotional romance novel. But it's not like the most raw, it's not like burned raw romance, but it's, it's, it's still a really, really emotional romance novel. And it also has a lot of aspects in it that made me feel really, really emotional. And I actually cried a few times in this book for personal reasons, but it just, it was such an amazing novel. I loved learning more about France because I didn't really, I don't really study that kind of stuff. And so it was really nice to see some you know, some France, French culture and learning about the language and learning about the city and all its monuments. And, and just, it was really, really interesting to see. I also love Stephanie Perkins' writing style. It was just so real and her characters were so real. And I just, it just blew my mind how good this book is. Because if I didn't hear so many good things about this book, I probably wouldn't have picked it up because it just looks like such a cliche romance novel. and. It's not. And also, I just, I just a little side note. I love the last three lines in this novel. I absolutely love them. Oh my god, when I, I was like smiling the whole like last three chapters of the book because I just loved, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. And it has a lot of praise on the back of the book from a lot of different authors like Maureen Johnson, Lisa McMahon, Justina Chen Heatley, and Lauren Miracle, as well as Robin Benway. And also, pretty much everyone loves this book so far on Goodreads and YouTube, and so I am one of those people that love this book so much. It's so good. I seriously had no problems with this book. It made me feel so many emotions. Like, whenever something, like, mean would happen to a character, I'd get angry at that, at that stupid jerk person in the book and every time something sad happened I would feel so sad and I would cry sometimes and whenever the characters were happy I would feel happy and it was just it felt like I was in this book it really really did I seriously felt like I was at the table with Anna's friends and I was you know joking around with them and it's just it's just such an amazing book read this book this is so so good so yeah I, I have no problems with this book I definitely give it a 5 out of 5 it is absolutely amazing one of the best books I've read this year so if you're looking for a good contemporary YA romance novel that isn't like 
cliche and stupid, and it's it's a real, real book, real raw emotional romance novel. Pick this book up. And currently I am reading Smack by Melvin Burgess. I am only 20 pages in, and already this is incredibly raw. Already, like I've only read two chapters, and I've already cried a little bit, so... Yeah, not for kids. Not for kids at all. But yeah, this is so good so far. So I will hopefully finish this soon and have a review up. I'm just in a reading just like so fast. I'm just reading so fast. So yeah, that's about it. So I hope you all enjoyed this review and I will see you guys next time.